Hi, I'm Dr. Morna Foy, president of the Wisconsin Technical College System. There are so many great things happening in our system. That's why I'm visiting all 16 colleges to celebrate our 300,000 students, our staff, faculty, and leadership teams for everything they do to make our campuses vibrant and innovative places to learn and grow. I can't wait to go back to college. The next stop on our tour of excellence is Black Hawk Technical College. With campuses in Janesville and Monroe, Black Hawk Tech serves nearly 8,000 students across Rock and Greene County. We have such strong support from the industry sector, from our law enforcement partners, from our fire uh, partners. Backed by a community referendum and the support of many first responder organizations, Black Hawk is nearing completion of the new public safety center. They're designing our training but they're also designing theirs. Right. This is what we call the apparatus base, so your, your fire engine, your rescue squad. Up over here is going to be a rooftop trainer, so they'll be able to do some indoor ladder training. But we wanted a bit of a wow factor. This is obviously the atrium. Mm -hmm. uh, you come in. Some study breakout areas. Wow. Really, it's really a big space. <laughs> <laughs> in addition to the academic and industry learning space, this building also houses the women's volleyball and men and women's basketball programs, as Blackhawk introduces college athletics to the list of campus offerings. The neat thing to see is when we're bringing staff and students through a, a facility like this. This is brand new for the college, you know, something that they hadn't seen before. And it's one of the wow factors, like, oh, my God. And th there's a bit of pride that comes with it, too. It's just kind of your whole culture of a college is starting to change, which is nice. Facilities don't do it alone, but at least it helps kickstart that kind of cultural change. Along with the court is an indoor track that will be lined with health and fitness equipment accessible to students and staff. Projects like this help us transmit a new, new image, new day, that we're more comprehensive than we have been in the past. After touring the Public Safety Center, I was never president of any kind of student government. I didn't belong to student government ever, actually. I got a chance to meet and talk with a group of women, staff, and students about my experiences in leadership and the opportunities available to them. You guys got a regular dog park going on here. Hi, hi, sweetheart. It's no secret that the way to my heart is through animals. It just so happens that student government is doing their part to give students a break from schoolwork. During finals, we bring in therapy dogs to come and help no release kidding. stress the finals for can students. We, can we go yeah, say we hi? Yeah, we can absolutely pet. So this is Bailey. She's a resident okay. <laughs> of she, Black Hawk. She looks like she's getting a lot of attention. She's getting a lot of love. <laughs> And who's this um, beauty right here? This is Miracle. Oh, Miracle. Hello there. Wow. And then they're just uh, making themselves available to... Yeah, so they'll be here from 11.30 to 1 today. Nice. And then we have a little lunch for students who drop by. I would have done much better in my exams if I could have had a little doggy break yeah, in so between. Just, you know, oh, oh. Come and hang out. Yes. Oh, my goodness. All right, Henry, it's been real, man. Thank you so much. Thank you.